Hey everyone, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a touchless paper towel dispenser application from the book Programmable Microcontrollers with Applications Using the MSP430 Launchpad by Mr. Unsalan and Girhan. Let's go ahead and flip the switch. So, I'm at the mall, at my favorite mall, eating my favorite mall food, and hmm, got to go to the restroom, hunt down the restroom, open the door, do my business, come out wash my hands, use soap like a good boy, come out, and I need a paper towel dispenser. But my hands are clean, so I don't want to touch anything. So I look for the sensor, wave my hand over it, the motor turns, and clean paper towel, towel-y goodness comes out, and I'm able to clean my hands, and I'm happier for it. Um, I toss the paper towel, but before I leave, I wave my hand over it again, just to see its magical goodness happen. So. That was basically the application. Whenever you wave your hand over the sensor, it turns on the motor. How does it work? Let's go ahead and talk about that basically. Basically, this is a light-dependent resistor. The darker it gets, the greater the resistance. The greater the resistance, the greater the voltage across the resistor. Once that voltage gets to a certain threshold, the microcontroller detects that, and it sends a signal to this L293 motor controller. This motor controller then sends a signal to the motor, and it turns on, thusly. Now you might ask yourself, well, why do we need this L293 motor controller? Uh, why can't we just power the motor from the microcontroller? This is even a low voltage motor, three volts. That's well within the range. We need this motor controller for two basic reasons, two main reasons. The first reason being, motors need a lot of current, more than this microcontroller can provide. So we're getting our power from this 9-volt battery, and this motor controller gives the current enough that the motor needs. So that was reason number one. Reason number two we need this motor controller. This motor controller it has within it very fast switches that can handle the current that this motor needs. Why do we need fast switches? We need fast switches because we're controlling this motor using pulse width modulation. Now, basically, what pulse width modulation is, is that we take a unit of time, we'll say we'll take a second, and we cut it up into a thousand different chunks. We have a thousand of these chunks. And for 50% of that chunk, we turn on the motor. And the other 50%, the motor's off. So we need a switch, a fast switch, to be able to turn the motor on and off. That's two times every chunk. So that's 2,000 times that the motor controller needs to turn on and off to be able to control the motor. That's why we need fast switches. Now, why do we want to turn the motor on and off um, for 50% of the time in each of those chunks? We do that because then we're only using 50% of the power. Since the motor is only on for 50% of that chunk, we're only using 50% of the power. And as you can see, the motor works just fine, just getting power for 50% of each one of those chunks. And that's the second reason why we needed that motor controller. So basically, just to recap, light-dependent resistor, when it gets dark enough, the microcontroller senses it, and it sends really fast signals on and off to this motor controller. The motor controller interprets those really fast signals, and then it gives voltage and current really fast to this motor, but only for 50% of that chunk. And what we see is a normal motor, a little light. So that's the video. I'm John. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Have a good one.